Squad, you got a German squad moving southwest they're, to the south. Whole squad out to the west. West of town. Two fields away, they're running in. Whole squad in the open field. Yep, yep. Two away. Yeah, but I just uh, gave that a command so they're aware of it. Squad two. Oh shit, Stuka. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> shit, he dared. Yeah, I figured that bomb was coming for me. Yeah, I just looked up and waved at it. I was like, no point in running. Hey there, Indy Riz here. Today I wanted to do a quick little beginner's guide on how to get started in a game called Postscriptum. So what is Postscriptum? Well, taken from their website, Postscriptum is a World War II simulation game focusing on historical accuracy, large-scale battles, a difficult learning curve, and an intense need for cohesion, communication, and teamwork. Whether you're jumping out of a plane, resupplying friendlies, or operating a tank, you will find multiple reasons to drop back into the battlefield in this grand-scaled representation of a World War II setting never explored in a large multiplayer environment. So what do you need to be able to play this game? Well, you're going to need a computer, because this is a computer game, so you console players are SOL. Right now it's not very optimized, so even the best computers are struggling with frames, although the developers are saying that's going to get better and better because the game is in beta right now. And you need a microphone. Now you don't technically need a microphone, but I heavily suggest that you get one or you have one if you're going to play this game because the very backbone of this game is communication. Those of you who have played Squad before understand the importance in that game of being able to communicate for a, a, the battle to go well, and Postscriptum is based off Squad, so it, it's very much the same. Since this tutorial is strictly for beginners, I'm going to assume that everybody's playing the basic rifleman role. So with that said, the first thing you need to do is find an available squad. Once you join, the next thing I suggest is that you introduce yourself or say hey to your squad and then ask the squad leader where he'd like you to spawn or, or what, what he'd like you to do. And maybe the first time playing, let them know you're new to the game, which this game is in beta and is just been released in beta so pretty much everybody is but if you have no experience playing squad you might mention that too Kobe. in my experience is that uh, most of the players in this have been very understanding and are quick to uh, actually teach you different aspects of the game so with that said you need to be able to communicate so how do you communicate well to communicate with your squad you push b on the keyboard that's the default anyway uh, to speak just to your squad when you hear somebody talking over comms or com the communications, in the lower left-hand corner, the name will appear. If it's in green, then that means it's your squad. It's someone within your squad. If you want to speak to someone who's standing next to you, say you're, you're on a hedgerow with another squad and you've got some people from a different squad around you, then you want to use the letter V. That'll show up in the lower left-hand corner of your screen as blue. If you're a squad leader or a platoon commander, uh, then you use the letter G. That's the command channel. If you're uh, just a regular rifleman or anything other than a squad leader, uh, when you push G, no one's going to hear you. So once you've introduced yourself and you're being, you've been instructed by your uh, squad leader on what he expects, uh, you need to be able to read the map first thing you'll need to know is where to spawn in. Those are indicated by the yellow dots. There's two different types, actually three different types of ways that you can spawn in or places that you can spawn in. You have your forward operating bases or FOBs, your mobile spawn points or MSPs which are basically their special transport trucks. Each team can only have two of them operational at a time. Uh, and if one is destroyed, I believe there's a five minute cooldown before another one will respawn at the main base. There's a couple other important things to notice about the map. It shows the positions of both your squad and other squads. Your, your squad will always show up in green. Shows you which cap that you're attacking or defending. 
It can show you the status of each of your players. The blood drop inside a circle means that the player is currently down or has been knocked out and is waiting to be revived by a medic. And the skull over the player's uh, rifle indicates that that player is currently dead and is awaiting to respawn. It can also show you where the squad leader or the commander have marked enemy armor or infantry positions. It'll also show where the platoon commander is going to drop artillery or airstrikes. For example, on this map, uh, I'm playing as the uh, British and we've already taken Honensfield, or however you pronounce it, to the north, and our current objective is to attack Vlot to the south. You also see that we have one FOB to the south and then two MSPs, one to the north and one to the east. An important thing to know about the MSPs is on the map they look a lot like a regular transport vehicle. Both transports and MSPs are marked with a wagon wheel symbol in the center of the little rectangle. However, your MSP will have two chevrons in the lower left and lower right hand corner. When looking at the map, you'll notice that there's a grid with numbers running down the left side and letters running across the top. Since squad leaders and the platoon commander are the only ones that are able to mark the map, it's important that you get them accurate grids when trying to identify enemy locations. The best way to do this is to hit enter to bring up your map and then use your cursor to hover over the area that you think the enemy is. Then if you look down to the bottom right of the map, it will give you your mouse position. Although on my screenshot here, you can actually see my uh, cursor. In this example, it's hovering over J10-5-4. If you relay this information to your squad leader, he should be able to mark at that location whatever it is that you're trying to identify. Here's a key asset guide from uh, Postscriptum's website giving you the rundown of uh, mobile spawn points, forward operation space, and construction trucks. Uh, notice their map symbols are directly above them. Here's your default key commands when playing the basic infantry role, although you are able to rebind these in the game. Notice where it says to use the key M to open the map. I recommend using the enter key to bring up the map because that's how you'll need to be able to use your cursor to identify different targets on the map and you'll be able to scroll in and out easier and uh, check on your teammates and so forth. Okay, so you've joined a squad and you've talked to your squad leader and figured out what the game plan is and where to spawn in. You've spawned in and so now let's cover some of the basic uh, game mechanics so that you have an understanding of what you're supposed to do. So your squad leader said to get in and defend the cap. In this instance, that's Redfield. And if you notice, if you look on the map, it actually has a defend banner above it. So the way the attacking team wins the game is to either deplete all the resources of the defending team, or their tickets, or to capture all of the capture zones before the time runs out. And then the way a defending team wins the game is to deplete all the resources of the attacking team or their tickets or to defend one of the caps until the time expires. And the way you capture a point is to have more soldiers in that zone than the enemy. In this game I'm playing as the British so to win it we need to defend the cap for another nine minutes. You can see this at the top of the screen, along with the tickets remaining for each side. The way you tell whether or not you're in a cap zone is to check for an indicator at the top of the screen. <clears throat> in this example, you can see that the Germans have just about capped this zone. So I'm going to cover just a few things about the basic gameplay because I've seen a lot, either a lot of mistakes or there's been a lot of common questions on the servers. When you bandage, uh, scroll to your bandage using the mouse wheel or use the number key to get to your bandages. If you want to apply them to yourself, you use right click. If you want to apply your bandages to someone else, you use left click. You'll also notice that in your inventory you have a canteen 
what your canteen does is replace or replenish your stamina. When your stamina is low, it makes aiming much more difficult and your gun sway difficult as well. The way you use your canteen is to scroll to it with the mouse wheel and then left click to take a drink. Make sure you hold down the left click button until the animation finishes with the drink. Here's a good look at how the suppressing fire mechanic works. Besides scaring the uh, hell out of you, it also makes aiming very difficult. The last thing I want to cover is probably one of the most common mistakes I'm seeing in the matches. If you look at this example on the map, we are in the process of capturing Vlot. Once Vlot is taken, the attackers will have 20 more minutes added to their time. You'll also notice that there's a timer above the next objective. The attackers cannot take this objective until this timer expires. The most common mistake that I'm seeing are defending players defending an already lost objective. Once a cap is lost, it can be recaptured by the defenders, so the defenders need to get onto the next cap to set up their defenses, and as opposed to trying to battle at a previous. Okay, so there's just enough to get you started in Postscriptum. If you got anything out of this video, I hope you'll do me a favor and uh, mash the hell out of the like button down there. Or maybe even subscribe as I plan to put out a few more Postscriptum related videos here in the future. Alright, thanks a bunch. Can you uh, oh heal my, me completely, please? Sons of bitches. Can you heal me completely, please? Yeah, 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 yeah. To our west, there were more men. I just shot them. Thanks. Squad or more, directly just west. Germans to the uh, west. Yeah, Germans to the west. Oh yeah, keep coming. There's one. Germans in this uh little shack over I'm here. Down.